With Edmonton Oil Kings assistant coach Luke Pierce, Luke uh, here in Kent, game three tonight with the Seattle Thunderbirds. In general terms, uh, share your thoughts, if you would, on the series thus far. Uh, it's been a real exciting you know, couple of hockey games, I think, for both teams. It's uh, not seeing one another, and but I, I think both teams are what we expect them to be. They play hard, they play fast. They, um, there's not a lot of room out there, but uh, some really exciting hockey. I know it's fun to coach, and uh, credit to our players and their players. They're, they're playing some really good hockey. Plus minus 10,000 fans in your building on Sunday. It's uh, looking like it's probably going to be a sellout here in Seattle tonight. To just uh, share with me, I mean, you know, the, the energy that you guys get from from playing in front of a crowd and and uh, it, it just feeding off that kind of an atmosphere. Yeah, we've been really lucky, obviously, uh, yeah, in, in Edmonton and in Rogers and having phenomenal, you know, crowds there and support. But just even with the run that the Oilers have been on, there's just there's a different buzz around that city and, um, you know, it, it's it's been a it's been a really good experience for our players getting used to playing in that environment. And it'll be a different animal here. There's no question. I think uh, it'll be a lot louder. I know from my last times being here, it's it seems like the noise never ends. And um, but we've got a, a really veteran group that's been through a lot together. And I think uh, they'll be prepared as as much as you can. But those first five ten minutes will be uh, will be interesting for sure. Shots on goal seem to be uh, you know a, a thing that have been a strength for the Oil Kings, getting pucks to the net and getting pucks on Millic, 40 plus shots in each of the first two games. Seems that you guys are willing to shoot the puck from anywhere if the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, we've got some guys that, uh, you know, it's been a mentality of our team, but we, we have some players that love to just attack the net and, you know, and trying to score goals is uh, from, from wherever they can and they're hungry and um, it's certainly been a part of our game plan. It's never going to change for us and you know, we want to force teams to defend and I, I think we do a really good job of, of recovering pucks and rebounds and that's why you see the shot counts get higher, but uh, we think there's ways for us to maybe generate a little more uh, grade A stuff and a little cleaner looks, but you know, credit to them, they, uh, they don't make it easy on you. Aside from the fact that they're both NHL picks, aside from the fact that they're big bodies, what makes Caden Gooley and Luke Prokop so effective in their own zone? Well, they cover a lot of ice. They're like, uh, <laughs> they got big wingspans and they can skate and you know, those are two uh, extremely elite players that uh, you don't find a lot of those with that size and length. And, um, you know, Caden's always had that real competitive edge. And for Luke, I think he's, you know, more of a cerebral guy. But um, lately, man, he's he's been bringing it and he's added a lot of packages to his game that uh, to add the physicality and the, and the desire to defend and defend hard. So, you know, a huge luxury for us to have those guys back there. You've been around the junior game uh, quite a while, Luke, as a player, as a coach. I mean, there's something about 20-year-old players when it's their last kick of the can in the WHL playoffs. I want to ask you about Carter Such and just the energy, the effort, the production that he's brought to your group. Yeah, you know, you can't be happier for a guy like Carter. He's just he's been through a lot with this organization from 16, and um, he he's a guy that comes with so much enthusiasm to the rink every single day. And you know, sometimes you got to tell him to get off the ice. He's just he won't stop. He'll go out for every optional. He just he loves to be on the rink. I know when he was 17, 18, he was skating on his outdoor rink on, you know, after our practices. So he just absolutely lives and breathes the game. And, you know, he had a tougher playoff uh, as a 17 year old with us the first go around. And he's make more than making up for it right now. He's been a, just a tremendous leader and competitor for our team. Appreciate this. Best of luck tonight. Yeah, thank you.